Hello friends, I am Pankaj Kumar and you are watching Mechanical Engineering Knowledge Junction. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to analyze the given structure or the stress in ANSYS Mechanical APDL as shown in the figure. First of all, I would like to say that if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe button and don't forget to share with your friends. And also leave your comments and suggestions in the comment section. So let's start our tutorial. First of all, open ANSYS Mechanical APDL. Click on preferences, then click on structural since we are doing a static structural analysis. Now click OK. Now go to preprocessor, click on element type, then click on add, edit, delete. Now click add, select link, and then 3D finite SPN 180 as save function. Now click OK. Now close this. Now minimize element type, go to real constant, then click on add, edit, delete. Now click add, click OK. Give the cross section area as 400 mm square. Now click OK. Now close this. Now minimize this. Go to material properties. Click on material models. Click on structural. Click on linear. Then click on elastic. Then click on isotropic and give the value of modulus of elasticity as 2E5 and Young's modulus as 0 0.3 for stainless steel. Now click OK. Close this. Go to modeling. Then click on create. You can solve this problem by creating key points as well as nodes. If you solve this problem by key point, then you will have to make it manual uh, by yourself. Uh, and if you solve this problem by creating nodes, then you, it will automatically mess itself. So I'm going to solve it by creating nodes. Click on nodes, then click on inactive CS. Uh, if the all boxes are empty and you will click apply, then it will automatically take the origin. So I'm considering A point as origin and uh, drawing the point B, C, D, E, F with respect to origin A. So I have noted the coordinates of all point. Similarly, you can do so and go to Mensis Mechanical APDL and click on inactive CS. And now, since we have already taken origin, now we have to draw the second point that is 2 meter, that is 2000 mm. Now click uh, OK and that third point is mm, third point is 4000 mm now click uh, apply and the fourth point is uh, 0 is x and x coordinate is 0 and y coordinate as 2000 mm now click apply the second point is 2000 mm as x and 2000 mm as y now click apply and the sixth point is 4000 x and y is 2000 mm now click ok don't click on apply so we have got all our six point now we have to join all these nodes so minimize nodes and go to element and click on auto number then click on through nodes now select the point you want to join so i am going to select one and two click apply two and three click apply one and four then click apply 4 and 5 then click apply 5 and 6 then click apply and 6 and 3 then click apply and here A, E, C and E, B all are connected so you have to also connect this click 1 and 5 then click apply click 5 and 2 then click apply click 5 and 3 then click OK thus we have connected all the nodes now minimize this and go to loads click on loads then click on define load then click on apply then click on the structural then click on displacement and click on nodes so you can clearly view a point is roller supported and c point is six fixed so we have to select point a and then click on apply and then select ui for roller support and then click ok now again click on nodes then select second point at uh, third point that is C now click apply and select all degree of freedom and then click OK so we have fixed apply roller supported and fixed support now we have to apply the loads at F E B and D respectively so 25 kN 10 kN 20 kN and 15 kN so click on force a moment then click on nodes now select this point and then click apply and select here as fy and give the value as minus 25,000 newton that is 
20 kilo 25 kilometer now click apply now select this and then click apply and you the value is 10 kilonewton so select fy and give here the value as 10 so click apply this now again select this uh, 20 kilonewton so give here the value as minus 20 and now click apply we have taken the negative sign because the force direction is downward now select this point 6 and then click apply and select fx and give the value as minus 15,000 newton that is 15 kilonewton so now click ok thus we have applied all the forces given in the question now minimize this and we are going to solve this so click on solution then click on solve then click on ll current ls then click on ok thus our solution is done now close this and also close this window now we have given in the question that we have to analyze the uh, displacement and stress so we are going to see the result in general perspective so click on general post procedure then click on plot result then click on deform shape then select deform plus and deform shape now click ok so this is the deformation under the load if you want to see the animation of this then click on plot controls click on animate then click on deform shape and then select deform plus and deform now click ok so you can clearly view the deformation under the load this is the animation video now close this and i want to see the displacement so click on contour plot then click on node solution then select duf solution then click on displacement vector sum then click ok so this is the mm, displacement vector sum diagram the value of uh, displacement is maximum at this point and minimum at this point now if you want to see the stress again click on audio solution then click on the stress then bring down the arrow and select one my sphere then click ok so this is the diagram of stress and if you want to see the actual value of the uh, displacement and stress then you will have to go to this result then click on audio solution then click on the of solution then click on displacement vector sum now click ok so these are the nodes 1 2 6 and the value of ux ui uz that is displacement in x y z are given and the maximum value is they have given u s u m now close this close this and if you want to see the reaction solution so click on reaction solution then select all items then click ok so you can clearly view the mode nodes as 1 2 3 and fx fy and fz value so these are the given value and if you want to nodal loads then click on nodal loads then select all items then click ok so nodes are 1 2 6 and fx fy and fz value are given in the uh, result similarly you can view the various uh, result uh, by selecting the parameters given under the general post procedure so thank you for watching please like share and subscribe my channel have a nice day bye bye